Chatelet Bridge Burners, this is a day in the life. Enjoy. So what the fuck do I do all day? That's a very good question. And I'm going to try to answer it. The first thing I do is stretch. Well, actually, that's not true. I exercise first, but I didn't film that. And then I wash my dishes, if there are any. And then I make coffee. I was going to talk during this. I tried, but I had nothing to say. Usually I'm pretty good. I'm putting the lid on the coffee thingy. For those of you that are dumb, now I'm pressing the thingy down. We got photo op. Then there's my uh, medicinal. Ah, I didn't say shit. So once I get all limbered up, I drink my coffee and I respond to comments. So in this particular case, I'm explaining my response to a comment by MGTOW Psyche, to which I made a response video. And I made a response video on this very day because, you know, it made me think more on the topic. So it's good that I decided to film a day in the life because if I hadn't, then I wouldn't have branched off into that other video. And I did this several times throughout the day, as you guys will come to see. But first, onward and upward, time to get Oliver, because it's time to go take a piss. Hey, Chatelet Bridge Burners. Okay. Oh, that's what he means. Ramper Tumski. So I got this platform bed, but I had to get rid of my drawers. So I'm making drawers underneath. Oi, Vey. I have this sticker here that I have to take off, man. Oh boy. Warning. Don't be a hot shot. Skate within your ability. Serious injury or death may result from improper usage. Made in Mexico. <laughs> so this, this frustrates me. Putting a sticker on a brand new skateboard that's fucking, oh man, it's hard to take off. Yeah, this is it guys. Do you see what I have to deal with? First world problems. I'm glad I have them. What happened to Shred the Nar? Ah! Fuck! Oh man. Yeah, see? I cut myself fucking taking this stupid fucking safety sticker off. It's like... Glued on way too fucking stickily. And in taking this fucking sticker off, because it has this super adhesive shit on it, and I don't want it under my grip tape, I cut myself with my razor blade. So that's what happens. It's like a metaphor for fucking society in general. In trying to protect the world too much, not only do you turn people into little bitches, but they risk getting hurt way more than if there hadn't have been the fucking warning sticker on it in the first place. And a back out of band-aids. Still bleeding all over the fucking place though. Luckily, I had a fucking glove to stop the bleeding. I used a bit of coffee grounds. Because that's all I had. This whole process took 38 minutes. That's why I'm speeding it up. It's actually fun. Uh, usually I do it in the kitchen, but eh, today I did it in my room. All right. So after I grip the new board, I poke holes in the grip tape and I put the new hardware in. And I take the trucks off my old board. I'm not really particular about the order. And then I put them new shits in. I put them in first and 
You know, I tied them by hand and then I tied them to the skate tool afterwards. Fucking bloody. Now I'm just putting on the sticker that came with the board and I'm good to go. Now it's time for some shoe repair. These fucking shoes, man. They last a long time, but they fell apart the first day I fucking got them. They just didn't fall apart past a certain point. So now, watch, watch how I fix this. Yeah, you put a new shoelace in and it holds the shoe together. Just finished skating. I didn't get any footage. There were a lot of people there. And I got a new board that I set up before that I fucking hate breaking in. I fucking hate it, but this one went really well. So I'm thankful. Now I'm just loading up my truck and I'm getting ready to go home. I don't like skating new boards. I don't like skating new shoes. I like my stuff when it's all broken in just right. So boards have like fucking hundreds of different shapes. So I like mine a certain way. I like it kind of flat. So my last board broke, which is the only reason I changed it. You know, well, it didn't break in half, but the back got really fucked up, so it was too short. And I was getting used to riding a board that was too short. And inevitably, I knew that if I kept doing it, when I got a new one, I'd have a really hard time skateboarding on it. So I bucked up, and yesterday I went to the store, and I stepped on about 30 different skateboards until I found the one I wanted. And I got it. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and anyway. It was, it was really good. I'm surprised. I'm surprised at how good it was. So I'm happy for that. And uh, yeah, I'm on my way home now. And I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. So you guys can see. Oh, and I got a box of these. Kind of a disgusting flavor though. That's why they're on sale. But 12 of them for $9.99. Pumpkin spice. Not so bad, but some fucking asshole decided to put raisins in there. Anyway, I digress. See y'all in a bit. Just got home, showered, now I'm about to make lunch. I don't know what I'm gonna make. Maybe I'll tell you, maybe I won't. <laughs> this is what I'm having. Costco bagel, for now. And there's a story about the bagel. Seriously, it's a pretty good story too. Uh, not just any bagel, the Costco bagel. It's about a dumb bitch. Ooh, look at that. Done. So I'm ending it there, not much else is going to happen today, I have videos to edit, I have to edit. When I was uh, responding to MGTOW Psyche's comment, well I responded it a while ago when he wrote it, but it got me thinking a, a little bit and uh, I wanted to talk about that you know, at a, a greater length. So I made a video about that and I'm gonna, I put it out already. And since I filmed my entire stretching routine, I'm going to make a video talking about that too and explaining the stretches because it's really helped me out and it'll probably help you guys out. And the other thing, one of the stupid fucking things I had to do today, I didn't film it, but I had to go buy Adidas track pants because I discovered my new favorite channel and I'm going to do a tribute to it and I'm going to tell you guys about it. But again, that's a separate video. So in cutting my day in the life video short today, um, you know, I guess I didn't really have to cut it short, but I just want to go edit now, and that takes a long time, especially if I have, uh, you know, three or four videos to shoot, but, you know, I'm, I'm really lucky because I set out to make one video, and I'm going to make four, and they're going to be good videos, not just filler videos, and I can make a fifth one, you know, I'm going, I made the, uh, I made my video about hit pieces and the anti MGTOW community and made my video about stretching and I'm gonna make my video about my new favorite YouTube channel and I'm gonna make my fucking bagel story video about a crazy bitch <laughs> that surprise surprise used to shit all over me but anyway that's fucking past and I don't think about that shit anymore that's why I fucking haven't you know, mentioned that shit like earlier on. You know, I did my earlier videos where, you know, I kind of said my piece, but now it's, this is about what I do. You know, I'm, I'm over all that shit. So, yeah, I have uh, a 
bunch of new videos that I gotta get to work on, and I promise you guys a surprise, and the surprise is that because I'm cutting this day in the life a little bit short, I'm gonna be continuing it tomorrow, and I'm gonna be continuing it right from the middle of the fucking action at the skate park, and my roommate and my filmer, Mark, is gonna come with me tomorrow, and we're gonna get some footage, even if it's just, um, you know, old tricks, because I, I just go there to warm up and to keep my fucking skills in the winter. If I can learn something new, great. But for the most part, it's just fucking staying sharp. So, you know, f I try to bring back something new every time I go. But tomorrow, it doesn't really matter. We're just going to go and I'm going to film my usual shit. But I'm going to come back with something. And I'm still breaking in my new board. It went really well today. And uh, even though I fixed my shoes... I'm gonna be breaking in my new shoes tomorrow too. So that's a fucking feat in itself. It's it's really tough a lot of the time. Uh, sometimes you can get away with not having to, to to calibrate too much, but these shoes I got, they're a little bit different from the old ones. You know, I look for the most similar ones, but anyway. Oh yeah, and a shoe review. So I figured too, you know, a lot of skaters do fucking shoe reviews and they, they talk about if their shoe lasted long or if it was functional if it was comfortable or whatever you know or if it gave good support so i'm gonna do that too so that's a fifth fucking video and not counting the video tomorrow which is going to be number six which is going to be another day in the life and we're going to continue it from the skate park and then i have uh, some cool shit to do in the evening and in the afternoon one of my friends is coming over and we're gonna make some t-shirts and shit do a little business and this guy's got some crazy fucking stories so hopefully i can get him to you know come on camera and uh join in the fun so please let me know what you think and even more important than that i strongly urge you to produce your own content for a variety of reasons but like you know even though it looks and it was a pretty quiet day like it was still fun and filming it makes it even better and it gives you it gives you fucking goals and look man uh, there's no limit to how productive you can be so having said that i hope you all have a great day again like share subscribe and you're watching bridge burners tv till next time shadow guys